Hello, hi, welcome back. It's Amanda. We're gonna film a get ready with me. I haven't filmed a get ready with me in months. Like, that's months, I think. So we're gonna get ready and probably talk about Love is Blind because it's ridiculous. If you guys wanna get ready, just keep watching. I do already have my eyeshadow primer on, the Milani eyeshadow primer. Chef's kiss. I'm just gonna say chef's kiss instead of doing it. That won't be as annoying, right? I'm not quite awake yet, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, my heart says blue because I'm wearing blue. And I do have the Lorac Neon Lights palette. Newest shadow that I'm trying to pan is this blue note shade right here. <laughs> so maybe we're going neon today? I'm not, I'm not really sure. We're hearing birds chirping. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. The first thing Avery said when she woke up oh, a few weeks ago was, Mom, I heard birds outside my room. And I was like, I know. We're so ready for birds. I bought this palette at Ulta months ago. It was half off. And I actually can't remember the regular price, but I know it was half off when I bought it. So I just hadn't used it yet. I mean, we'll just start with Blue Note, I guess. Uh, my washer is going, if you can hear that. I am sorry. The thing that will be probably pretty easy about this is Lorac shadows are typically pretty powdery which I like. So we'll see here. I didn't, I, I didn't put like a base down or anything, just my eyeshadow primer. So if you guys watch Love is Blind, raise your hand. I don't really watch reality TV. Um, I don't watch like The Bachelor or dating shows or anything like that. I don't watch Survivor. The only <laughs> reality shows we watch are Kids Baking Championship and Fortune Fire <laughs> and Chopped. I mean, we like the cooking ones. It's just not my thing. So I saw it on Netflix and I was like, what is Love is Blind? And I read the, dis the summary of the show and I thought, whatever, I'm watching that. And then everyone started talking about it and how you had to watch the show and oh my gosh, this person was blah, 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 blah. I was like, whatever. I kind of just feel like watching garbage tonight. I'm gonna watch this show. I know that it's not real TV that and things are edited a certain way, and um, I'm I'm aware of that. That doesn't make these shows less infuriating. And I also know that they're there for their 15 minutes of fame and whatever else. But do they not? I just would care so much about how this would make me look and they just don't care how this makes them look. If so, if you watch the show, you know who I'm talking about. If you haven't watched the show, I can't even say I would recommend watching it because it just makes you dislike people. I'm going to use the indie color just to kind of blend this a little bit, just soften that a little bit. Alright, the, the premise of the show being, you know, can you fall in love with someone without looking at them and taking away the, I guess, vanity aspect of it, which I understand. They did also choose very attractive people to do this experiment, as they keep calling it. So, I mean, <laughs> okay, but whatever. If you haven't seen the show, they have these dates and these little windowless pods, so they're just talking to each other, they can't see each other. And then I don't, I can't remember how many dates they went on. And then at one point they asked, you know, asked to, if they wanted to get married. And they met each other. They went on vacation to uh, like a resort in Cancun. And then they came home to Atlanta, which is where I believe everyone was based and where the show was filmed. And then they moved into these apartments together and then started planning the wedding. So I'm not going to, you know, disparage anyone's name by saying that I didn't care for such and such person or such and such person, except for Jessica, because she is a terrible human being. She's either a great actress or just a terrible human being. She's definitely the person in the show that was made out to be the villain, whether that was you know, her idea or the producers or whoever. Like if I had guessed who would get married right when they first started, um, right when they first became engaged, I guess. I would have 
probably picked Kelly and Kenny because they were the least dramatic. They were, I don't want to say boring, but they were like an average couple. They seemed pretty fine. They <laughs> plan their wedding as they're at the altar. The producer, I'm sure it's not a real pastor, asks them if they do or don't take this person as their spouse. So they're all like dressed up, they've all planned for the wedding. And then in the moment they make the decision, which just seems like a waste of time to me. So I guess Kelly and Kenny had decided together that they were both going to say I don't. But then, and I know that this is editing, the way it's all edited, Kenny looked kind of upset about it. It just makes me so thankful that I don't have to date. <laughs> Not that I would be dating in this situation. I asked my husband the other day, I was like, do you ever think, because we saw a commercial for eHarmony or something, I don't remember. And I said, do you ever wonder like, who you would get matched with on a dating site? And not that there's, I know that people have found love on like eHarmony. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Sometimes you think, wow, I wonder like, what would this algorithm match me with? And he was like, I've literally never wondered that. I'm like, I'm not saying I'm thinking about it. But when you think about the the algorithm of it all and how it's just data that's being matched up don't you and he's like no i've literally never thought about that i think so he's like i'm not looking i can't imagine having the patience to deal with new people we're gonna use a little bit of this milani conceal and perfect and i'm gonna um not cut the crease, but I, I forgot that I wanted to do this, so just a little. This stuff is wicked full coverage. It's probably gonna look ridiculous because I have such hooded eyes. But I wanna try. So anyway, I'm filming this on the day the reunion special goes live and I'm dying. I'm specifically not sitting down on my couch because I have stuff to do and I don't want to just watch this dumb show for an hour. So I'm going to talk to you about it instead. And you're going to see this like, you know, a week or more after. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but I look insane and it's not even, but it's fine. I don't really care. It's fine. Um, I'm going to use the bolt color, this yellow, and hopefully this works. Oh no. Ooh. Whoa. Obviously some fallout with this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go over that with... Oh, I should have blended that out more. See, I don't ever do this with concealer, so I... Don't think about the ramifications of just packing it on and making a clean line. Let's take this guy from Real Techniques. This is a... Uh... Defining crease brush, but it's a little more tapered. Um, this looks terrible, by the way. By the way, Amanda, way to ruin your eye makeup. It's cool, 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 it's fine. It's fine. We'll just cover it with shimmer. Why is this black? Oh, because green, that's why. <laughs> We're gonna take this disco color and I'm just gonna use my finger because I wish there was a shimmery yellow. Anyway, I'm just gonna take this disco color, this shimmery blue. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. We're bringing this way up because, uh, you know, reasons. Oh, it looks like water, it's beautiful. This brush is stained, but it's clean. Not more of this indie color. And try to fix some stuff here. Oh, wait, we're gonna use this. This Proceed color from the uh, Proceed with Caution palette from uh, ColourPop. This is the other one that was in my... Oh, you have to uh, pan a shadow in this. I don't know why I said it like that. Pan that shadow. And uh, I look like a fish. And because I can't leave well enough alone, I'm going to foil the disco color just 
just to see what happens. You know, it's my favorite way to do things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the same brush that I used the yellow. And it doesn't look like I use the blue note color, and I use quite a bit of it just to build it up. It doesn't look like it, which is kind of surprising, especially for a Lorac shadow. I'm going to use some eyeliner. This is the Catrice Liquid Metal Gel Pencil in Black Stage. I love these, and I was looking for another one on the Ulta website the other day, and they don't have them. And then I was in an Ulta a few weeks ago, and they didn't have the Catrice, the Catrice display at all, and I was like, oh my god. Because I love this eyeliner. I have several colors. I love all of them so much. This one is black with a little bit of shimmer in it, which I like. And um, they don't have it on the website anymore. I should check the Catrice website. I think there's a Catrice US website. I need to check that. And then for mascara, I'm going to use the Essence Volume Hero Power Black. And you probably won't see that because people make dumb faces when they put on mascara. Alright, we're going to use some concealer. This is the CoverGirl Outlast all day. He's so funny. I would love to put Buster in my videos more and he just hates it so much. I was uh, filming the decorating my little tree that I have I, in the, uh, like by my front door. And I just got the tripod out and set it in the living room so I could set it up. And he started panicking. And he was like, no, like walking back and forth on the back of the chair that he sits on. And there was, I think, a pillow on the chair. And Buster doesn't just step on your stuff. If there's something in the way, he he will go around <laughs> or find a way around. He doesn't just walk over things. It's, he's very considerate. He couldn't get down and he was panicking. And I was like, oh my gosh, dude, just, it's not, you're not even going to be in the, in the shot. Oh yeah. This little zit right here freaking hurts. So Buster's not a fan of being on camera. When you get out your camera to take a picture of him, he looks away like no. No. Unless he just knows that's his angle. I don't know. We actually saw a movie a couple weeks ago. We took my daughter to see Sonic the Hedgehog. And it was super cute. It was really nostalgic for the adults who most likely either grew up watching or definitely knew about Sonic when you were a kid, like my age. And it was really cute. I would I would see it again actually. It was really cute. But it just made me think of the power of social media because when the initial trailer for Sonic was released, it looked I mean Sonic looked horrifying. It looked like a nightmare. <laughs> and there was so much uproar over it that they pulled the movie and reanimated it and then re-released it. That was not cheap. But I think I, I, I don't know this I don't know the financials of the movie, but I know it did really well in the first, at least the first weekend, so I think ultimately that paid off, but <laughs> I just thought, wow. Because I wouldn't have gone to see the movie had it been left as it was, because it honestly looked like a horror movie. It was so <laughs> creepy. Uh, this is the Catrice Prime and Fine. This is pretty nice, actually. This is like a, I, it was a gift with purchase, so I don't. I can't ever find it on the Ulta website. Um, I guess I should check Makeup Revolution, but I haven't. The Revolution Ultra Bronze. I can't wait to get a farmer's tan. I cannot wait. Concert season has technically already started. My friends and I went to see Garth Brooks at the end of February, which was kind of surreal because that was a concert that I never thought I would be able to see because he retired. And um, he had never done a stadium tour, which I thought was interesting. So that was really fun. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in On The Mall. Let's get all the hair out of your face, Amanda. I'm a planner. I don't know if you've noticed, but... I like to make lists and, uh, you know, have some ideas ahead of time so I have more time to change my mind <laughs> or execute the plan as needed. So I'm thinking like, okay, I need to update my concert go bag because I have a bag. I call it concert go bag because I'm really cool. Because I have a bunch of, you know, we just have supplies so I need to put all that stuff together. 
I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Illuminating in Ireland palette, which is all very warm toned. Let's, I think even this highlighter is like green. Uh, we're going to go with Charmed, this middle one. Oh, oh man, this is, uh, it's okay. Oh, we'll try this. This is from um, e.l.f. This is the Sheer Slick. Lip, uh, lip, lipstick, I guess it's called Jam or Jelly. Oh, Jam or Jelly. <laughs> the or is really close to jam, so it looks like one word. Oh man, these are like sheer, obviously, and I like that because I'm lazy. This is really pretty. It kind of feels like a, a bomb too. It's really comfortable. It doesn't smell like jam or jelly. That would have been amazing. Almost done with this Derma E Blue Light Shield Spray. I don't know if it's working for blue light defense, but I like the mist on it. Mmm, this lipstick is so comfy. It feels like chapstick. I like that. So even though I look like a fish, I'm kind of okay with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me. What are you watching on Netflix right now? If you have any video suggestions, leave those in the comments down below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.